Hello everybody, how are you all today? Welcome to version 2 of this. Um, I recorded a video that was due to go up and then the Sims team did me the dirty and they released the gameplay trailer which obviously showed us a bit more. So in my previous video, which was all we need to know, looking at tweets, this, that and the other, we don't know this, we don't know that, they've ruined it. Because now we do know some things. So I'll link the trailer down below, so if you haven't seen it, you can go and see it. If I can, I might put a card up for it in the corner, but I don't know how to do that, so you might not get that. That's a bit tech savvy for me. Um, and I will also link their latest blog along with all of the other links to the Sims community blogs which I used in my original video which now you're not watching because I'm redoing it but they were still there and it shows all the tweets and stuff like that so there you go what do we know from the gameplay trailer you will see on the screen shortly we know that Evergreen Harbour used to be green and fresh and lush now it is not the young lady in the trailer, whose name they did not mention, she goes away to university, she comes back, it's a dump. So she starts revolutionizing the, pla <laughs> the place with her friend Knox, who is the gentleman with the red hat, and Bess, who is the lovely lady, who is the inventor, plus a woman called Diane, plus somebody else. So, what do we know now? The town is a dump. You can keep it a dump. You cannot keep it a dump. Uh, the, obviously, I think the purpose is that I intend you to make the town better, but you don't have to because the Sims seem to enjoy living like that. You can woohoo in a dump style like these young pair on the screen are doing now, which, I'll be honest, compared to previous Sims games like 2, things have been a lot more PC in 4, a lot more family friendly. And then as times goes in, they're slowly, slowly bringing in more ways you can woohoo, more places you can woohoo, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, you know, they're getting a bit risky, the Sims team. Another thing, I don't know if I'm blind and I just don't pay attention to literally anything, but every single Sim in this seems to be wearing a new piece of clothing. I don't recall any of these outfits, any pieces of clothing. Obviously, we've got new things like they've got piercing rings now, the stretched ears, etc. But I don't remember. So it seems like we're going to get a lot of clothes. One of the things that I said in my previous video, which you didn't see because I didn't release it, but in this one, I said no way, no way would they be eating insects. I think they're just for show. I think they're like the bees. They're probably pollinators, stuff like that. It turns out that you your sims are eating them. But that's, that's totally up to you. That's cool, each to their own. But it's just not something that I thought. Also, as you've just seen, if you were watching the screen, they have confirmed that you can make your own fizzy juices, um, as, long, as well as candle making and stuff like that. It'll be interesting to see, which I think they'll release in the live stream, which will probably now be next week. Because we're now on, I'm recording this on the 19th of May. You're seeing this on the 20th of May. If you're watching this on the day I release the video. It comes out in just over two weeks. So I think we'll see the live stream next week. And then a few days after that, if not the day after, that's when you'll start seeing the content from the Game Changers. Because they generally get early release on these extension expansion packs. And I think that's when we'll start seeing that. But they could prove me wrong. They could play me dirty again and really see in total. They could do it tomorrow. And I could have to do a third video. But who knows? <laughs> so I have made a list of other things that they do. So she mentions, obviously I've took the sound off, but she does mention, which I don't know how I feel. Sorry, this is a video by me, so you know I'm not going to make sense when I'm talking about anything. It's in English, obviously, because I'm English. But it's, and I imagine it's released in other languages as well. What I know they couldn't do it in Simlish because nobody understands it really. But I, it does ruin the magic for me a bit. But anyway, so obviously she mentions living off grid. That she's got her solar panels and her wind power because she's got her wind turbines. That's what I like to see. Off the grid when it came in with Isla Living was a was rubbish i've never ever ever used it i've made houses that have it but i've personally never lived that way because 
to me there just wasn't enough enough with it but hopefully this will now improve it and it will make it more improved so that's good I've said about the millions of new clothing I'm still not sure what the that trash compactor does maybe I'm missing something but I couldn't I don't know what that I still don't know what that means maybe you make stuff with it so they can trash the compact trash and then you take the block and you go off and you make something with it that's what I can imagine it will be but who knows and with the the crafting and the fizzy juice making and all of that it'll be interesting to see how they skill that will it be like an individual skill so will it be like a candle making skill and then a fizzy juice skill similar to the mixology skill if not the mixology skill and then one for making electronics how will that go in in compared to like the robotics one that came in with university because they have confirmed they are doing obviously cross pack compatibility so it'll be interesting to see how they work or will they do one big crafting skill who knows who knows yes it was very very lovely watching it go past once again, seeing outfits that we've never seen before. I think a lot of the stuff that we're now missing at the moment, they will talk about in the live stream. And that's all we've got to go off. But as more and more, I don't know about you, but as more and more and more stuff comes out, the more I'm looking forward to the pack. They did confirm via Twitter when the release trailer first went out, there was obviously a few questions and stuff they did confirm through that that you can make these community lots where people can vote for the lot etc you can do that in all worlds pollution will affect all worlds but you can turn that off um obviously it will affect some people's already existing gameplay they won't want it or there are times like i in some saves will avoid like strangerville because i just can't be asked <laughs> I can't be asked with the people and I can't be asked with the atmosphere but I also can't be asked to go and send my sim off to fight the mother plant or whatever it was. So there you go. So obviously got all this new stuff. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see some people's like shipping container style houses. That looks like that's going to be good. Um, still, yeah, I don't know what that is. We've got some electric bikes. We've got more stuff there. She's doing some robotics. I'm wondering if this, if you're watching, this is from the gameplay trailer, whether this could kill you. Because in the release trailer, we had the man that was potentially, not confirmed, I don't believe, potentially death by flies, which is something they used to have in previous Sims games. It wasn't brought into this one, but maybe it's back. But also, potentially that robotics, if you don't have enough skill, the machine could kill you. Like the Murphy beds, obviously, in Tiny Living etc etc it'll be interesting to see once again what they do problem is with the sims team i know i'm not taking much of a breath here i'm just kind of blah blah blah, blah. problem is with the sims team is they are on occasion a bit too much of a coy cowboy when it comes to releasing information a number of people within the community have said that would in like more transparency from the team and i think that is a necessity I think they could probably confirm what kind of packs they're doing. Even if they don't tell us all the details, say, you know how they came out. They came out a few months ago and came, okay, over the next six months we're going to release a stuff pack, a game pack and an extension pack. I think that they could maybe give us a rough idea of theme. It would probably be damned if they didn't, damned if they didn't, because it would just give more people to moan about it. But it also would give people more time to get over it and make their peace with it and maybe they'd start looking forward to gameplay a bit more but if the community is known for summer it's known for going off the handle we get one little idea and i had one picture came up of a wind turbine and everyone's convinced it was farming because of a faked picture photoshopped picture that wasn't even real we like to take these ideas and run with it. We've done it with every pack since. <laughs> so who knows what we'll get. But they have also confirmed, going back to my list, sorry. Because I'm going off on a tangent. That 
they have confirmed, which was something that I was quite nervous for, they confirmed via Twitter again that it will not be mission-based as it is in Strangerville and to an extent Island Living, I believe. Um, the problem is with Island Living that I have is that if you don't live in that neighbourhood, in that world, it's pretty pointless. You can't really do a lot and it is quite tedious you don't want to always live there it's a lovely lovely looking but you don't always want to live there and you don't always want to do those things so I hope this is a bit more broader I hope that maybe you could do that aspiration without living in Evergreen Harbour I know obviously they're putting pollution in all the worlds but you can you don't know you just don't know but there you go I hope that has cleared some stuff up nice little video something a bit different um i don't normally keep up to date with stuff like this i kind of watch the trailers and then i'll pre-order it because i'm one of those people that must have every pack in the game regardless um this is why yeah, i keep making money because of people like me. <laughs> um as i've said previously in lots of other videos i don't even play through them but i fully intend to in this one i have the um, pre-order so when it comes out I will do a video for your viewing pleasure of all the cast and build and buy items and then a bit of the gameplay so you can all see it as well. And that was a you know a lovely card again. Those vases are nice. And then hopefully, yeah, if you're still on the fence, it will help you make your mind up. But there we are for today. It's a short one. But it's something different and something that I hope to continue in the future, bringing you all the news, spilling that tea as it was. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining me. As I say, all the links are below um, with both the EA blog, the trailers and with the Sims community blogs on it. So you can have a little trickle through there and see how you like it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been informative. Leave a comment below. Tell me if you're looking forward to it. If you're not, what you want out of it, what you don't. But yeah, there you go. Love you all. Bye.